A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Yeah, well, also, he's a person. Also, he just woke up from a time where they Sir, were fighting Reapers. It's about our new guest. Yeah. I'm on my way. Liara's also way too excited, and it's it's a bummer. It's just, it's interesting. It's interesting how this interaction works, honestly. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. That's our protocol for new species? But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We should be careful, but I'm a paragon, so here we are. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. I'm so cool looking! <laughs> will he? That depends on So is he! He's so cool looking too! I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? Good question. All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both I ways. I do have a Prothean Cypher in my head. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? Grabby hands! He's just, he doesn't shake hands, but he's into the grabby arms. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction, our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. He was supposed to rebuild the Empire too, but... He can't do that anymore. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. That's the line right there. This silence is your answer. When I first played, that hit me like a punch to the gut, honestly. We found this at the dig site. 
I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. Man, the Legendary Edition makes him look if so you good. don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be... This is not gonna be what she thinks it's gonna be. He's a soldier. She's like she's been surrounded by soldiers because she's been with us forever. But she and he thinks she thinks just because he's one Prothean, he's gonna have all the answers, and he will have interesting answers. Like any one individual can answer questions about their culture. But like again, what what Leara wants are answers from like scientists and counselors and like wise people. You know, he's a soldier, and he'll bring this up he was born during the time of the reaper invasion like he never even saw the golden age of his people you know all he saw was what was being torn down and the remnants and but that line though that line that has echoed throughout the years to me there's a there's just a few iron bull has one yavik or javik i called him yavik forever I don't know why, but the J at the beginning, I'm like, it sounds like like the Spanish Y to me. But his name's Javik, not Javik. Um, but yeah, no, that's just like, I don't know, like it would, it would, it would totally shift your worldview on like war and honor and vengeance and this engagement in particular with the Reapers. Like, what is Shepard willing to sacrifice now? Is she willing to sacrifice a world to save three others? Is she willing to sacrifice three worlds to save one important key world that has, like, resources that we need? You know, that kind of thing. Whereas Javik is, like, he's willing to throw anything at this point that he needs to into the fire. You know? And he asks if you're willing to do that, too. It's just, I, I don't know. It's, it's really, it's really interesting. It's really poignant. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. Beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Mm -hmm. In many ways. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Mm -hmm. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered, what sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the- We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Mm. Oh, again, I, the legendary edition, like, he just looks really, really good. <laughs> like, all of us do, but it's so cool to see, like, characters again anew, you know? What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects all eventually called themselves Prothean. 
What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Yeah. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago. In ways we could never imagine. Mm -hmm. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? I saw it! The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Yep. And if they had worked, we would have all been subjugated and part of a pro the Empire. It's wild, right? How things can, even just like, one, one action, one person can change history so dramatically. But, like, I'm sorry, I was thinking of, like, the Rosetta Stone. It was, like, one random French soldier who found it. And I could say, oh, it was just this one random act, you know, of things that, like, happened. But then again, like, why was that French soldier there? Because because the French had decided to, like, invade, you know, as, like, an, as, like, a conglomerate. Like, Napoleon, yeah, he made the decision to go, but he brought, like, a gazillions of, like, scientists and soldiers and, like, everything... I don't so no, I know I'm getting philosophical, but it's like things are not just isolated events, you know? Like they, they seem like it, but they're not that is not how it works, really. But maybe it kinda is, like at the same time. Like if that soldier like were taking away all that stuff of like, oh, had the soldier not been there, blah wouldn't have happened, blah blah blah, but that soldier did happen to be there and did happen to find it. It just took one person in this one instant to change the course of freaking history as we do it. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? <laughs> Shepherd's By face. leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army or faced the Reapers. I bet you they would have been worshipped. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Like godlike. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. That's gotta be so weird for him. Like, all he knew was, like, vaguely about some primitive species, and now they're the ones running the cycle, you know, running this era. It's gotta be so weird. Mm, yes. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Probably doesn't know about... I mean, I... It's the thing is, is his bunker is similar to Ilos. It was what Ilos was supposed to be, except Ilos was a scientific bunker, a scientific outpost. Um... And they were able, I mean, they were successful at what they, what they did, which was to basically shut down the Citadel as, like, a conduit, you know? Oh, forgive me, I'm yelling in Perthian Divine. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, 
Whatever they were doing was secret. Yes. Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. And that, see that right there is almost like more, like that, just that line. It's like, oh wow, like, yeah, like your expectations, like expectations should always be tempered whenever you're meeting like the subject of study or whatever, but like, like an actual person that you've, of like a culture that you've studied, but like to have things, some things be confirmed and some things be like wildly different just would be so wild as like an anthropologist. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. I almost think it would be better to blow up your planet yourself than you wouldn't have to deal with, like, indoctrinated soldiers, you know? Turning your own force against you. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. That's the, it's, it's very like, diversity is in your interest. And it's true. I mean, history, science, math, everything will tell you that like a diversity of opinions and peoples is how to best solve anything. So, like, you just, you gotta have multiple points of view. And, but again, the problem with, like, uh, with, like, I guess diversity, air quotes, or, like, multiple opinions is that it can be very difficult to come to an actual consensus. And there can, you know, infighting. So they probably, they didn't really have infighting as a problem. They just had, like, they were all stuck on one idea or one way of doing things and couldn't really think of a way to adapt in time. Whereas for us, we've got a zillion ideas, but very, like, for our current cycle, we have a zillion ideas. But... It's difficult to get people to actually come together and freaking do it, you know? Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. <laughs> they used to eat flies. <laughs> Liara. Uh, <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Welcome aboard, my guy. Oh, uh, now we gotta go freaking <laughs> talk with. Ooh, that's right, that's right. Not that I get to use it. I mean, I could, I guess. But we gotta go placate Liara, who's having a lot of her, um... Uh... Hopes... Not hopes and dreams, necessarily, but her... Her, her fantasies, I guess, in some way. Her scientifically-based fantasies of Protheans come crashing down. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be rough. I, I can empathize greatly as, a, as an anthropologist and an archaeologist. I would find the situation to be very exhilarating and also like disappointing but you can't blame either of them but anyway that's enough talking for now thank you all so much for joining me i appreciate it really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially risk you know, my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support and an extra special shout out to christopher my tree tier patron you're the super bestest and i super appreciate all your support it's super awesome uh but yes thank you guys again thanks to you we're able to watch this in crisp lovely 1080p 60 frames per second and i'm just gonna be forever happy about that so 
uh, and I'm just glad so far everything is working properly, knock on wood. But thank you all again for watching, I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.